Hello, Exennial fam. <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying the Halloween-themed videos so far, and I hope your fall season has been going wonderfully. So, most of what I share on my channel is stuff that I've had for decades, and I did have a lot of Little Shop of Horrors merch growing up. I saw the film in theaters multiple times back in 86, and I had the LP soundtrack and books and comic books and toys and everything. I did not have the Topps trading cards back then. I don't think I even knew about them back then, which was crazy because I had started collecting trading cards the same year this film came out. I remember I was really into Garbage Pell Kid cards that year in 86, but I didn't have these cards and I just purchased them. I got a great deal for them, by the way, the full set a couple of years ago, and I didn't have time to make a video last year, so I said I have to make one this year, and I want to do it very similar to how I shared my Y2K Playboy Collector Cards uh, series. Um, there were a lot more cards in that collector set. In these Little Shop of Horrors, there's only 44 cards, but they're so cool, you guys, and I want to show them to you all the front and back. Um, when I purchased them, they gave me the full box that they came in. How freaking cool is this? The full box. And it came with all the cards inside in, uh, card protectors. And as well as the, um, packets that they came in. I will show you the packets. Here's the cards, which I'm going to show you in a minute. One by one. And here are the packets that they came in. They gave me several of them. Just take out a couple. How freaking cool is that? Everything but the bubble gum. So I just got a magnificent deal for it. I mean, I really think the person was really just trying to get rid of it because he did not jack up the price at all, which was very fortunate for me because I wouldn't have been able to afford them if I had to pay a lot. So, I do not want to be rambling much. I want to get straight into the video. So, without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Card one says, Loco Boy Makes Good. And that is when he first started getting wealthy because of his plant, kind of towards the end of the movie. And the back of the first card just says Little Shop of Horrors Tops Story Cards. So it is an introduction to you, letting you know what this card set is going to be about. Number two says, The Skid Row Gazette, sometime in the near future. Plant Wars. Audrey too attacks city, takes the A train. And keep in mind, this picture depicted here is the uh, original ending, which was not shown in theaters and not shown to audiences other than, I guess, these trading cards and in the Cine Fantastique magazine, which I've already done a video on, uh, on a previous Halloween. And um, so that's just a sneak peek of what the original ending was going to be, which was not what was released to the public. And on the back of card two, it says, on the 23rd day of the month of September, in an early part of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence. And it has the narrator singing, Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors, No, Oh, 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 No. So that's the lyrics. I like how it's Little Shoppa. S-H-O-P-P-A instead of shop of. So that is what they were instructed to sing like. And here's card number three. And it's just a picture of Audrey too. And it just says, Little Shop of Horrors. But how awesome is it? How awesome are these cards? My God. On the back of the card it said, And this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do in the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places, Skid Row. And he's singing, poor, all my life I've always been poor, 
I keep asking God what I'm for, and he tells me, gee, I'm not sure. Awesome, the lyrics to Skid Row, which is one of the best songs in the film, I think. These cards are so cool. Card number four says, a boy's best friend is his Audrey too. On the back it says, Mr. Mushnick, I know how to save the shop from going out of business. Look on him, Audrey. Seymour Krellborn, the miracle worker of Skid Row. <laughs> I think we all remember that scene. Number five is another awesome illustration of Audrey too, and just says, Little Shop of Horrors. On the back of number five, it says, in the basement of the flower shop. Cheer up, little guy. You and me, we're going places. Number six says, I never forget a face. Now, you guys, this is the scene in the radio, uh, in the radio place where Audrey tries to, like, reach for this woman's behind do you think she's on her period and he smells that? Or is it because she has a red skirt? I've always debated this with people, you know, that I've seen this film with. What do you think's going on here? Hmm. And on the back of card six, it says, Seymour recalls how he found the plant in the wholesale flower district during a total eclipse of the sun. Wow, what a strange and interesting new plant. I gotta have it. Remember he bought him in an Asian plant store? And card number seven is Orin, the leader of the plaque. And I like how they have a tongue sticking out of the O for his name Orin, because he's a dentist. And on the back of card seven, it says, Mr. Mushnick is saying, that pathetic little weed is going to save our shop. Don't worry, Mr. Mushnick, I'll nurse it back to health, promise. And card number eight shows Mr. Mushnick about to be plant food. Hmm. On the back of card eight, while trying to revive Audrey too, Seymour pricks his finger and, I guess a few drops couldn't hurt, as long as you don't make a habit out of it. Hmm, I do remember that scene. I love that, that song that he sings. Card number nine says, yikes, can it happen? And it shows Seymour thinking about it. If Audrey II took over the city, and again, that's another scene that was in an alternate ending, which was released about 30 years after the original film came out, and I did purchase it, and I'm so glad that they stuck with the ending that they did, although I'm really glad I got to see this original take, because it was, you know, a lot of hard work. This was not um, AI. It was all uh, uh, special effects really excellent puppetry and everything. It was wonderful. And the back of card nine says, in no time at all, Audrey too becomes the sensation of Skid Row. And Mr. Mushnick saying, who would have thought? I'm getting rich, all because of that cockamamie plant. Card number 10 just says, smile. And there's Audrey, and I don't think Audrey too is smiling right there. I think he's getting ready to eat. And in the back of card 10, it says, Audrey dreams of a wonderful life with Seymour, far from the doldrums of Skid Row. It's a lovely fantasy, but in real life, all Audrey has is. And then, of course, that's just the fantasy that looks like a 1950s film. I love that part, somewhere that's green. Card number 11 just says Seymour, and it has adorable Seymour holding his plant when, when Audrey, too, is in a smaller state. And the back of card 11 says Oren Scrivello, greaser, semi-sadist, and worst of all, the leader of the plaque, a dentist. Because that's the real nightmare, right guys? Card number 12 is Audrey 2 saying, feed me. And on the back of card number 12 is that awesome scene with Oren singing because I'm a dentist. I thrill when I drill by cuspid. It's swell, though they tell me I'm maladjusted. I love that the lyrics from the songs are on the cards. These are so awesome, you guys. Card number 13 is when Audrey too is singing at uh, Seymour and trying to convince him that the guy sure looks like plant food to him, Oren. And on the back of card 13, it says, you're Audrey's boyfriend? And he goes, uh-huh. If you ever need a root canal, give me a buzz. 
Seymour hates to see Audrey in Oren's clammy clutches, but what can he do? Card number 14, it shows Seymour trying to close Audrey's mouth, or maybe measure how big it is when it's open. And on the back of card 14, it says, Audrey deserves a prince, not a sadistic creep. I gotta help her somehow. Feed me, Krellborn. Cut the gab and bring on the food. Card number 15 says, shop at Mushnick's. On the back of card 15, it says, I can't believe it. You actually talk. A lot of folks deserve to die, like that dentist. Card number 16 is a great shot of Oren trying to get into Seymour's mouth. On the back of 16, it says, summoning his courage, Seymour plots to murder Oren. He makes an appointment and, ooh, your mouth's a mess, kid. Let's start with that wisdom tooth. I'm not sure about this. Great, great shot, great picture. And there's number 17, a great shot showing how big Audrey 2 has gotten next to Seymour. And on the back of 17, it has Oren Scrivello laughing. Ho, 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 ha, ha. Hey, man, what's that, a gun? You're going to pay for hurting Audrey. But Seymour doesn't have to shoot Oren. The mad dentist is done in by an overdose of giggle gas. And card number 18 is Audrey 1. And on the back of 18 is the deleted scene, which you can see in the new, uh, the DVD that has the deleted scenes. It says, say, hey, it's a midnight snack. Just don't bite the hand that feeds you. And there's Oren's head, which didn't make the final cut. So I think that was really cool if you got this, uh, these cards back in 86, because you get some deleted scenes in them, right? So freaking awesome. There's card number 19, and there's the three narrators, the singers. In the back of 19 says, It's true, Mr. Mushnick. I chopped him up, but I didn't kill him. Tell it to the judge. A little closer, baby. Yum, yum. So Mr. Mushnick's about to become plant food again in this scene right here. Card number 20 says, Portrait in green. And there's Audrey, too, a close-up. In the back of card 20 says, While you're in prison, Seymour, I'll take care of the plant. What does it eat anyway? Hmm. About to eat mush. Card 21 says, The horror of it all. The back of card 21, Slurp. Hmm, boy. He just ate all of Mr. Mushnick. Card 22 says, Was it something I said? No, someone you ain't. On the back of 22, it says, And now, will success spoil Seymour Krellborn? You'll be rich. You'll be famous. You'll make a killing. Gulp, because he's definitely making a killing already. Card number 23 is an awesome picture of our Audrey 2. In the back of 23 is Seymour looking at a big, menacing, uh, imposing picture of Mr. Mushnick. And it said, Seymour's a celebrity, but at what price? Sorry, Mr. Mushnick, I didn't mean it. Of course, he's guilty because Mr. Mushnick uh, became plant food. And card number 24 are the lovely ladies uh, in the outfit that they wear in the opening sequence when they sing. And I, I remember as a kid watching this and just thinking they were so beautiful and incredible singers and loving their matching blue dresses because blue was my favorite color growing up. And the back of card 24 is a scene that a deleted scene, which I don't even think is on the DVD. I'll have to watch again to see, but it says, But then there's Audrey, lovely Audrey. Without my plant, she might not love me anymore. And it so shows her in a fantasy kind of dream of Seymour's going to him and then going to the plant. I don't remember this in the deleted scenes, you guys. I think it might just be here in the, in the cards, which is pretty cool that I get to see it at least. And card number 25 is little baby Audrey 2. And on the back of card 25, it's Seymour saying, This is too much. What am I becoming? Do I own the plant or does the plant own me? Good question. Card 26 says, Someday I'll be back to devour and attack. And again, it shows the very cool deleted scene. And maybe they planned on a sequel. Uh, but the thing with sequels is I wish they would come out, you know, in a timely fashion, just a couple of years after the first. 
I don't like when they wait decades and then the vibe is off because it's a different time period, you know? The back of card 26 says, at last, Audrey 1 and 2 confront one another. Relax, doll. Come join your dentist friend and Mushnik. No, she says. Card number 27 is another really cool illustration of Audrey 2, and it just says, feed me. And on the back of card 27, she's saying, Seymour, help. And he's laughing, he, 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 Audrey 2, because he has her. And it says, get off of her, you. And then it has a bunch of different, like, supposed to be expletives because he's cussing. Card number 28 says, good to the last drop. And it has Seymour, uh, dripping blood in the little baby Audrey 2's mouth. That's a cool one. I really like that one. And the back of card 28 says, Seymour, my hero, you saved my life. Yes, and now there's something else I have to do. So this is when he knows he has to get rid of the plant. Card number 29 is a cool illustration again saying, it's supper time. The back of card 29 says, world domination. That's what you had in mind all along, isn't it? You got it, Sherlock. I'm extra bad. Seymour makes a fateful decision. Audrey, too, must die. Card 30 is another awesome one that says, Chew your food before swallowing, as you see Mushnik disappearing down his throat. In the back of 30 is another deleted scene. Seymour imagines what will happen if he doesn't destroy Audrey, too. Today, Skid Row. Tomorrow, the world. Hee, hee, hee. Card 31 is just the awesome, classic, iconic Little Shop of Horrors logo. And the back of 31 is Seymour saying, You've had it, Audrey, too. You've eaten your last innocent bystander. And it's showing his face in the middle of Audrey 2's open mouth. Card number 32 says, Wow, plant food was never like this. Because he has the beautiful Audrey in his and his tentacles, I, I think they call them, I don't know, his spores or something, his vines. <laughs> and on the back of 32, it says, the plant is kaput. Seymour and Audrey get married and live happily ever after. How wonderful, she's saying. And he says, and just think, no more Audrey too to worry about. Guess again, bub. Have you checked out your garden lately? Remember you see a little one in the front yard? And it's got, I think, doesn't it have a little pink bow? Like it's going to be a girl this time. See, that's what makes you think at the time when the film came out, oh, there's going to be a sequel. But they just never did it. This is car 33. It says fondle a flower today. Huh, that's a bit suggestive. But there is Seymour holding the plant. And that's where it is going to reach out and try to grab that lady's skirt. Now, on the back of 33 is where you see that... Uh, the beginnings of a puzzle. So when you put the last, I believe it's like 10 or 11 cards together, you get a puzzle. Card 34 says, the axe falls. And that's where Mr. Mushnik is. He understands and he, he knows what, uh, what Seymour did or what he thinks he did. He thinks he just, he killed him. He doesn't realize that, uh, that he accidentally OD'd Orin. He thinks that Seymour killed him. In the back, of 34 again is another part of that puzzle. Card 35 is another awesome uh, shot, a deleted scene of Audrey in a blue dress and she's holding on to the plant. And then again, the back is just a part of the puzzle that's all gonna come together and it will show you what it will look like when it's all together. Number 36 is an awesome shot of Orin Scrivello uh, working on someone's mouth and it's showing the, ins you know, the view from the inside of the mouth, the POV. It says, say, ah, that's a, a great song, a great scene. And again, the back of 36 is just another little piece of the puzzle. Card 37 says, the wonderful world of intense pain. Because he, he was such a sadist. <laughs> and again, uh, the back of 37 is just another piece of that puzzle. And card 38 is when Seymour uh, is puckering his lips because he sees Audrey 2 puckering its lips and he thinks it's making little kissing noises at him. And then the back of 38 is just another part of the puzzle. And card 39 is another deleted scene with the plant bursting out of a building. It's it's like building size now, and it says, I have seen the future, and it scares me silly. 
And the back of 39 is another puzzle piece. Card 40 says, don't play with your food. And she's screaming. It says, eek, because the plant is playing with her and teasing her and going to eat her. And the back of 40 is yet again another puzzle piece. And card number 41 is the main narrator saying, don't feed the plants. And I think that's a scene from actually the opening credits of the film. And of course, the back of 41, again, is another piece of that puzzle that you'll see come together. And card number 42 says, devil dentist of death. <laughs> that's funny. They are roasting him. But he is the devil dentist of death. I, I agree. And the back of 42, again, another of the puzzle pieces. And card number 43 is a, again, another, it's, this one's a sticker, and it has Audrey 2 holding, uh, pulling up Seymour in his chair. And the back of 43 says, here is what your completed blue border picture will look like. Collect all 10 cards of picture A, which we did, because I showed you all of the pieces. And here's the last card, number 44. And here they're roasting Seymour, because it says, stop, or I'll stand here and look stupid. And the back of 44 is again showing you again what your completed blue border picture will look like. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little show and tell. I hope it was interesting, hopefully a little relaxing, <laughs> since that's always one of my main points on my channel, is to be relaxing and interesting and informative. And maybe drop a comment down below letting me know if you have this set of cards or if you would like to get this set of cards. I'd be very interested to know. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again real soon. Good night.